Hello all, this video is how to take square root on a Soroban. Before you try this, make sure you're comfortable with division. You've done a bunch of problems and you can do them fairly easily now. If you're ready, let's get started. The three steps to taking a square root, subtract a perfect square, take half of what's left, and then divide. Let's see what I mean. What's the square root of 4.41? I'll set up my root here. So I'll set up my number here. This is the tens and the ones. So four decimals here, four, one. Subtract a perfect square. Two squared is four. So I'll set up two here and subtract two squared. Next, take half of what's left. Half of 4, 2. Half of 1, 0, with 1 left over. Since we had 1 left over, half of 10 is 5. Now we divide this number into this one. 2 goes into 2 once. Subtract, multiply and subtract. 1 times 2, 2. And 1 times itself is 1. But on the very last number, when we multiply the new number by itself, we do just take half. So 1 times 1 is 1, and half of that is 0.5. We're finished. Our root, 2.1. The square root of 1.8769. The tens and ones, and the decimals, 8769. Subtract a perfect square. 1 squared is 1, so we subtract 1. Take half of what's left. Half of 8, 4. Half of 7, 3, with 1 left over. Half of 16, 8. Half of 9, 4, with 1 left over. Half of 10, 5. Now we divide this number into this one. 1 goes into 4, 4 times. But the thing is, it's 1.4 now. 1.4 does not go into 4 4 times. So 4 is actually too much. Let's try 3 instead. Does 1.3 go into 4 3 times? Yes, it does. So we're okay now. Let's multiply and subtract. 3 times 1, 3. 3 times itself is 9, but we just take half of that. 4 and a half. Subtract 4 and a half. How many times does 1.3 go into 9? 7 times. Multiply and subtract. 7 times 1? 7. 7 times 3? 21. 7 times itself is 49. Half of that is 24.5. 24.5. And our root? 1.37. The square root of 15.6025. Here's our tens and ones, so 1, 5, and the decimals, 6025. Subtract a perfect square. 4 squared is too much, so 3 squared will be okay. 3, and subtract 3 times 3. Take half of what's left. Half of 6. 3. Half of 6, 3. Half of 0 is 0. Half of 2, 1. Half of 5, 2, with 1 left over. Half of 10, 5. Divide this number into this one. 3 goes into 33 11 times, but 9 will be enough. Watch. See, 30... 3.9 goes into 33 9 times. So let's multiply and subtract. 9 times 3, 27. 27. 9 times 9 is 81. Take half of that, 40.5. 40.5. How many times does 3.9 go into 19? 5 times. Multiply and subtract. 
5 times 3, 15. 5 times 9, 45. 5 times itself, 25. And half of that is 12.5. Our root is 3.95. What is the square root of 6.154? Our tens and ones, 6, and the decimals, 1504. Subtract a perfect square. 2. 2 squared is 4, so we subtract 4. Half of what's left? Half of 2 is 1. Half of 1 is 0, with 1 left over. Half of 15 is 7, with 1 left over. Half of 10, 5. Half of 4, 2. Now we divide this number into this one. 2 goes into 10 5 times, but 2.5 doesn't. So 5 is actually too much. Let's try 4. Yes, 2.4 does go into 10 4 times. So we multiply and subtract. 4 times 2, 8. 4 times itself, 16. So we subtract half of that, 8. Next, 2.4 into 19, 8 times. Multiply and subtract. 8 times 2, 16. 8 times 4, 32. 8 times itself is 64. And half of that is 32. Our root, 2.48. The square root of 34.6921. Our tens and hundreds, 3, 4, and the decimals, 6, 9, 2, 1. Subtract a perfect square. 6 squared is too much, so 5. 5 squared is 25, subtract 25. Take half of what's left. Half of 9, 4, with 1 left over. Half of 16, 8. Half of 9, 4, with 1 left over. Half of 12, 6. Half of 1, 0, with 1 left over. Half of 10, 5. Now we divide this number into this one. 5 goes into 48 9 times, but 5.9 doesn't, so that's too much. 5.8 goes into 48 8 times. Multiply and subtract. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times itself is 64, so we take half of that, 32. How many times does 5.8 go into 52? nine times. Multiply and subtract. Nine times five, forty-five. Nine times eight, seventy-two. Nine times itself is eighty-one. Half of that, forty point five. Forty point five. And our root is five point eight nine. The square root of 76.7376. Tens and hundreds. 7, 6, 7, 3, 7, 6. Subtract a perfect square. 8 squared is 64, so let's do that. Set up 8 and subtract 64. 64. Take half of what's left. Half of 1 is 0, with 1 left over. Half of 12, 6. Half of 7, 3. Half of 13, 6. Half of 17, 8. Half of 16, 8. And we divide. How many times does this number go into this one? 7 times. Multiply and subtract. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times itself is 49, and half of that, 
24.5. How many times is 8.7 going to 52? Six times. Multiply and subtract. Six times eight, 48. Six times seven, 42. Six times itself is 36, and half of that is 18. Our root is 8.76. One more example. The square root of 22.877079. Tens and hundreds, 22. 8.77089. Subtract a perfect square. 4 squared is 16. Subtract 16. Take half of what's left, half of 6, half of 8, half of 7, half of 17, half of 10, half of 8, half of 9, and half of 10. Divide this number into this one. 4 goes into 34 8 times, but 4.8 doesn't, so 8 is too much. 4.7. 7 times 4, 28. 7 times itself is 49. Subtract 24.5. 24.5. 4 24.7 into 39, 8 times. 8 times 4, 32. 8 times 7, 56. 8 times itself is 64, so we subtract 32. 4.78 into 14, 3 times. 3 times 4, 12. 3 times 7, 21. 3 times 8, 24. 3 times itself is 9, so we subtract 4.5. And our root is 4.783. Now, these numbers worked out. We got nice, just a few digits. But that's usually not the case. Square roots normally go on forever. And we can actually do that. So I want you to practice a few nice squares like this. See if you can take perfect squares, perfect square roots. In the next video, we're going to do some numbers that don't work out nicely like this. Because we don't have to take perfect squares only. We can take the square root of any number, and our answer will be just as good as a calculator. So practice your division. Practice a few perfect squares like these. And next time, we'll do numbers that go on forever. Thanks, everybody. Bye.